What's up, Underground? I'm Jesse. We're going to be talking today about the brand new McLan M Max 8 speed control and the new McLan MR 8.3 motor. This is an all new speed control by McLan. Years of research and development has been gone into this. It's for your A scale applications. We're going to go through the features of it, how to calibrate it, and how to adjust it. Okay, one of the cool features of this new M Max 8 speed control is it has a dual USB feature. What that means is it supports both host and slave USB. What this does is it takes away the need for uh, the PC link bridge for firmware updating. And this is gonna be an updatable feature on your 10 scale speed controls, which is the Pro and the Pico speed control. All right, a couple of other features we've got. We've got an all aluminum case with a big massive heat sink up top. This is a big speed control, so it needs a big fan. We have a 40 millimeter fan as opposed to a normal 30 millimeter fan you would see on normal speed controls. This is a just for better cooling and also looks a little bit better. All right, we see everything on the outside. On the inside of the speed control, we have a 32-bit CPU structure along with the sophisticated firmware design that we put in the speed control. It's fast, it's smooth, it's durable. Installed in our 8-scale GT car is the MR8.2 motor. This is your current 8-scale motor from McLan. And here is your MR8.3. It is shorter, it is lighter, it is more awesome. And it is designed to work with the brand new M-Max 8 speed control. Nobody likes an RMA, they're not fun. So pay attention to your wiring on this speed control because the polarity is different on here. You have C, B, A for your motor wires and you have plus and minus here for your power wires. This can cause damage if you do not get these correct and this is not covered under the warranty of the speed control. So pay attention. Okay, we're gonna talk through the radio calibration process on your M-Max 8 speed control. Now I've unplugged the fan for this process because it is big, burly, and loud. And we don't need that in this video. Uh, I've also have the switch plugged in for this. Um, you don't have to run a switch if you don't want to. I choose not to on my personal cars. Uh, it's, a, it's a preference thing only. Uh, for this process, I'm gonna have it plugged in. So, first step is to turn on your radio. Once you have that on, you're gonna go to full brake on your radio, and you're gonna turn on the speed control. It's gonna beep, it's gonna flash orange, And once you hear two beeps, go full throttle. Once you hear three beeps, go to neutral. And you'll hear the speed control go through its boot, boot up process, like as if you first turn it on and you have a running car. It is that simple. Okay, we're gonna run through the steps on how to adjust and program your M-Max 8 speed control through the SmartLink app this is available for Android devices only, found on the Google Play Store. In your box, in your speed control box, you're gonna have an adapter plug and wire, looks like this. You're gonna have another power wire, USB power wire that goes to your speed control. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plug these two together. This adapter plug is going to go to the device and your power wire will go to the speed control. So we'll plug that in, we'll set that down. We'll turn on the speed control. It's gonna ask you to connect and access the device, hit okay. And we'll open the app. And from here, we can do data logging, we can do a firmware update, we can do programming, we can access the manual, from here, from the program, you can go to general settings for run mode. You can do forward power, reverse power, sensor mode, all kinds of different things. If you go back, protection settings, brake, throttle, timing, anything you need to adjust the speed control, you can do right here from the app. Now we're going to go through how to use the ProLink programmer card to program your MMAX 8 speed control. We're going to turn on the speed control. We already have our radio on. We have our adapter wire. We're going to plug this straight into the speed control this time. Like that. We're going to take our other power wire, 
I'm gonna connect up. Be smarter than the USB. And then we're going to take the USB plug and plug it into the programmer card. Again, be smarter than your USB. From there, it says ProLink V2.0. That is important. That is the firmware that's used for this speed control. Uh, if you do not have 2.0 firmware into your ProLink card, you can download that at mclan-racing.com. From here, you are connected up to the speed control. You can go through and do all your settings from here. Right now we have profile one, you can change this. All other settings are needed. Once you've made your adjustments, hit escape. It'll ask you to save any settings that you've changed. Hit okay to save. Once you're done, unplug it. Unplug the speed control. And you have a running car. So there you have it, the new McLan M Max 8 speed control, coupled with the new McLan MR 8.3 motor. It's going to take your A skill game to the next level. For more information on the speed control, the motor, and dealers, where to buy it, go to mclan-racing.com.